Hey guys, I want to thank you to my new segment, The Quest Request, which is basically where, you know, people in the quest that have subscribed to my channel, they want me to review some movies, so I just did one, uh, shout out to Benjamin for giving me this movie to watch, I've never seen it before, so I was kind of looking forward to it once I found out who was in it, which was Ryan Gosling, which is one of my favorite actors of all time, and definitely one of my favorites right now, so I mean, I was really looking forward to this movie. All right, The Believer, which is directed by Harry Bean, and it stars Ryan Gosling. And fun fact, this movie came out in about 2002 at Sundance, and I believe it won like the top prize at that Academy. It went down as probably one of the best films of that year. And watching it, you know, 13, 14 years later, it still holds up, honestly. I think you should definitely watch this movie. It's really about this guy who's the Jewish guy, but he's like this neo-Nazi guy. But you really see the conflict between him being Jewish and him being a neo-Nazi. And you kind of get some backstory of how he got to that point in his life, why he believes certain things, and you kind of get some character growth going on. And I just thought that this, honestly, is probably Ryan Gosling's best performance ever. I just had to say that. Just His performance in this movie was amazing. I mean, I've seen him do good stuff in, like, Drive and Only God Forgives and, you know, anything else you've seen him in. But this movie, I mean... He was Daniel in this movie. I didn't see Ryan Gosling, I saw Daniel. I felt like he did a lot of research on this character and got him down to like his core values of how he was as a person. And that's really hard to do as an actor. So congrats to him for doing that. But like I said, Ryan Gosling's character, Daniel, he's a very complex character with him being a neo-Nazi and a Jewish person. I mean, the two kind of contradict themselves, obviously. And he gets some background story on uh, how he got there, like with school. When they're talking about God and certain things, the Holocaust, and he's questioning the rabbis and stuff, trying to see, you know, why would God allow the Holocaust to happen and stuff like that? So you really just understand from a young age, he was very confused, and you just see his journey and him growing and developing into the person that he becomes at the end of the movie. He, and at the end of the movie, I honestly kind of feel like it's like a metaphor for his whole journey during the actual movie. He's just him always trying to run away from his problems and not face the truth. And watch this movie, it kind of felt like a biopic too. Now, when I did some research after I saw the movie, I found out that this was actually based on some true events that happened to somebody in like the 50s or something. But I mean, watching the movie and not knowing that, it honestly felt like it was like a biopic, like a documentary type thing. Like I was saying earlier, Ryan Gosling was this guy. I didn't see Ryan Gosling, I saw Daniel. So I mean, that's a phenomenal job by the actors. I felt the script was really well too. A lot of the conversations that Daniel was having with multiple people, whether it was the females in his life or the different uh, congregations he was talking to when he was at certain areas, I felt like it was really strong and kind of, you understood why he was how he was and you know, questioned certain things that you believe in and stuff. So I mean, I thought the script writing was done really well too. And honestly, this movie kind of reminded me of American History X. Instead of having the whole over the top violence though, to help you understand his character and feel for the guy more. I kind of feel like it dumbed it down and just so that you understood that as a kid, he was doing this stuff from the beginning and he was just a confused person from the beginning. So you just understand and feel. Overall, I really enjoyed this movie. I'm giving the movie an A, a 4.6 out of five. This is one of the best movies I've ever seen. Overall, I mean, it was just great all around. The acting was really good. Ryan Gosling was Daniel. I didn't see anybody else. I didn't see Ryan Gosling. This is a career defining performance for him in my eyes. I mean, the script was really strong and the themes that they tackled, they were in your face, but it was to the point where you understood it and he actually kind of cared for the character. And I thought the metaphor at the end of the movie kind of helped to propel the stories and themes well too. And also the next movie I review in the quest request is gonna be Perfect Blue, an anime in which I have seen, but it's so rich and it's so deep with its themes and everything else, you can get a different perspective watching it every time. And it also influenced another one of my favorite movies ever, Black Swan. So I will be reviewing that pretty soon. Oh, have you seen The Believer? If you have, comment below and I wanna know, what's the best movie that kinda tackles the relationship between the Nazi regime and the Jewish community? Uh, I just wanna know. Again, if you're new, you wanna hit that subscribe button, you wanna like this video, and join the quest. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.